Hey guys, Greg here. Let's solve maximum number of balloons, lead code number 1189. So we're given a string text and we want to use the characters of text to form as many instances of the word balloon as is possible. And you can use each character in the text at most once. So we need to return the maximum number of balloon instances that can be formed. So in this example, we're given Nale Bolko, and so in the red here, they have highlighted all of the relevant letters, the ones that would be useful for making balloon. So to make balloon, we need a B, we would need an A, we would need two L's, we need two O's, and we need an N. So we clearly have all of those letters, so we can make one of those. Now in this example, we actually can make two balloons, so that's why we have the reds and the green. Basically, you could make a red balloon and a green balloon. So the point here is that to make multiple copies of balloon, you would need duplicate letters. So we would need two Bs, and then we would need two As, and so on. And it's also possible that you can't make any balloons here. We have some of the letters, like we have an L, we have an O, but that's clearly not enough, and so that's just zero. Also, an important constraint here, we can see text consists only of lowercase English letters. Okay, so let's suppose we are given this example. How many balloons can we make? Well, we see from observation we have a B, an A, an L, an L, an O, an and O and a N. And so that definitely makes balloon and we would not be able to make more than one. So we'd return one here. We're basically concerned with the number of B's, A's, L's, O's, and N's that we have here. So we're going to make a hash map or a counter where it's going to have the key is going to be a letter and we'll force it to only have B's, A's, L's, and so on, the letters that actually are part of balloon. So we can loop through the string here and we can see, okay, N, that is actually a letter we are concerned with. And so since it is not in our hash map already. We'll put that in our hash map and we are going to make the value of that. Now we have one N. We will go over to the L here. That is another letter we're concerned with that is not in the hash map. We will put L and a value of one. Let's look at the A. Same thing for the A. We're going to have one A so far. For E, we're just going to skip over that because that's not very helpful to us. That is our second O and so we have this. And hash map lookup, this is all going to be O of one operations here. So this is all very, very very fast. For ends, we only need one of those to make one balloon. If we had two of those, we could make two balloons as long as we had enough of the other letters. For L's here, well, we actually require two of those just to make a single instance of balloon. So assuming we had all of the other letters we'd need, we would actually need four L's to make two balloons. We'd need six L's to make three balloons and so on. Okay, so the point here is that the letters like L and O, these are the ones where you need basically double the amount of the other ones and the other ones you only need one of those each so if we look at each character here we can see how much it is contributing to the number of balloons we can get so if we have one n well that's only allowing us one balloon that is only going to allow us one balloon same with a same with b and O. we have two of them so we are allowed that and we would actually be constrained by the minimum of any of these because say for example we actually had like 12 l's here okay so say we had 12 l's well that would allow us to make six balloons so this could make six, except that's not going to help us because we still need the other ones here. So these are all of the potential balloons that we could make, assuming that all of the other characters are available, but we are going to be stuck by the minimum of all of these things here. Okay. So for this example, they all happen to be ones, but we are constrained by the smallest number of balloons that a letter can make. Okay. So let's add a few extra letters here. Let's say that we also had another A, we had another L, we had another O, and we had another B here. Okay, so if we were to count this up, we're actually going to have two A's, we are going to have two B's, three O's, three L's. One N, that allows us to make one. Three L's, well that's not quite enough to make two balloons because we need four, so we can actually get the number it can make as an integer division over two. So three integer division over two, that's 1.5, that runs down to still one balloon that we can make here. So this still only allows us to make one, here we make two, here we can make two, and this guy again follows the integer division over two rule because we need two O's, three is only going to help us make one. We are still constrained by basically the worst bottleneck here. And so the minimum of these things, the minimum value is going to be any of these ones. And so again, the return would be one. So let's code this up. Okay, so we're going to get our hash map, which is going to count up 
up the balloon like letters. So we'll call that counter. And I'm actually going to make this a default dict, which takes an int. So if this is the first time you're seeing default dict, well, then we are going to showcase that in a moment. The characters of balloon, we'll just get that as a variable that is equal to just the same as the variable name. So we have balloon as a string there. Now we'll go through the text. So for C in the text for each of those characters, if C is in balloon, so if it is one of these characters, well, then we want the counter at C to go up by one. So what this does here with a default, it says, okay, if this key didn't already exist, in the dictionary, this thing is still a dictionary or a hash map that uses O of one lookup via hashing. If this key didn't already exist in the dictionary, it's not going to throw an error because it's a default dict. It's going to set the value to be this, which you can think about this as just zero. So it's going to set the value associated with counter at C to be zero. And we immediately increment that. So it's going to force the fact that if this character wasn't already seen in the counter, it'll immediately set that value to be zero. And then we increment that. So it's actually going to set it to be one and otherwise it's just going to increment the count okay so we counted the frequencies of the balloon letters and now we're going to do a really cool python function that comes up every now and then if we have any of the c not in the counter for c in balloon we go for each character in balloon so all of the balloon characters so all of b a l l o o and n it actually does l and o twice which isn't really necessary but that's fine if any of those balloon characters are not in the counter well, that means we don't have any occurrences of a required letter. And so in that case, there's no way we can make any occurrences of balloon. Otherwise, we actually have a count of every single letter. So we need to return the minimum. And this is going to be the longest Python line you've ever seen here. Return the minimum of the counter at B. So the occurrences of B, the occurrences of A the occurrences of L, except you need two L's. And so you do integer division by two here to require two L's. We'll replace that with an O, we need two O's as well. And the last letter counter at the character of N here. Okay, so we are abided by the minimum of the number of B's we have, the A's we have, the L's over two that we have, the O's over two that we have, and the N's that we have. Okay, so that is actually our code. And if we submit that, that will work. Okay, so let's talk about the time and space complexity for this solution. So the time complexity, well, we're clearly going through the text here. So if you say n is the number of characters in the text, well, that's at least a big O of n. Now what we're doing in here is just saying if c is in the balloon, well, that's a pretty short string, so that's fine. And we're also using a hash map. And so that is going to be a constant lookup there. So that's all constant stuff in here. So just looping through that, that's just going to be O of n. And then here we say if any of the, basically the balloon characters aren't in the counter, well, that is look Looking up in the counter, so that's a hash map O of one solution. And iterating through the balloon characters, well, there's not many balloon characters, so that's fine. And this thing here, this is just a bunch of lookups into the dictionary, so that is also going to be, these are going to be constant lookups here. And the space complexity here, this is actually a little bit confusing here. We are storing space, however, we're forcing it to only store space for the balloon characters. So we're actually only using B, A, L, O, and N. That is only using five five different spots in our dictionary that is not much storing at all. And so that is actually going to be an O of one solution because of that. So I hope this was helpful, guys. Drop a like if it was and have a great day. Bye bye.